Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Sarlisi Contour Cervical Memory Foam Pillow. Yeah, and you might go, you just reviewed one, and I'll say, yeah, I did. But the one I just reviewed is very aggressive in its height and shape, and it's a two-piece foam makeup. Like one side memory foam, the other side is like a soft foam. This one, on the other hand, is a little lower down. Not as aggressive, 100% MDI memory foam, non-toxic, odorless. I really never smelled an odor. Some people vary about that, those conditions and how they affect them, but I really didn't smell anything, and I let it air out once I got it in and uh, for 24 hours, and then it was uh, showtime with it. But I really love this one because it is 100%, and I can swap and switch it around. Now, I sleep on the higher side here. You can see here that one side is higher than the other. And this allows my shoulders to tuck into here. I can sleep uh, on my back or my side. And this is a perfect little contour to hook around your, your arm to hook around uh, this. If you want to sleep on your back and bring your arms back around, uh, the elbow and stuff can tuck in around this and you sleep on your back. Uh, there's way uh, a ton of different configurations for this that it's designed for and this fabric through here feels great this unzips comes apart these buttons snap together through a hole in the middle which allows your head to nestle right down into to keep your good shape here your neck your ergonomic shape now i used to use nothing but uh, memory foam contour neck pillows and that's just the the little wave pillow like that, a little bean looking thing. Uh, but I found that with these contour cave-ins here for my shoulders and stuff, it doesn't push my shoulders up forward. I have no crinks in my neck on this pillow because of that. I guess what would happen on my contour traditional pillow is my shoulder would rest on this contour part and somehow shove it up into my neck and, and lay in this goofy position through the night. And I might wake up with this like kink in my neck and stuff. But I haven't had that because of this recessed in spot, I think, anyway. And that allows my shoulder to just come into here and my neck to lay here. And my head is forced to rest right into here, which also opens my uh, breathing a little bit more uh, at night. So I can breathe a little easier at night with that that shape laying back my head laying back like that uh yeah so let's just go over the configurations that you can sleep in this i think there's three or four that they recommend uh and i'll tell you my closing arguments on why i think you should buy this now one of the things you can do is sleep on your back and this is the lower side here but what this allows is for me to hug this pillow perfectly in this groove through here and then i can just do this number here and this actually pushes this up as you would a usual pillow but there's no pressing or oddity or like pushing down on something while you're asleep like you just contour and it folds right right into its shape here and then you can be like that which is very comfortable i don't sleep like this but i can see why people do the other way is the high side here this is the way i sleep on my back uh, this is the higher side, the more contoured height side. My shoulder sinks right up under here. Check this out. Arm can go and tuck right under this, right over like that. That's probably how I end up sleeping through the night because this is just so, there's no resistance in my movement. A typical pillow is not going to give you that. Only a cervical pillow can. That's what I love about them. And this 100% memory foam is fantastic. It's got so much bounce back. The fabric on this also feels a lot like the Tempur-Pedic uh, casing, which is great. And this is like the jersey knit type right here. And then this is this pleated like Tempur-Pedic type. And if you've owned expensive $100, $200 pillows, it has the same type of material. And this feels great. This is so, this being a jersey knit type, it's such a good idea because your arm and your skin rest up against this. It feels good. This here is where your head and stuff would be, so it's kind of airy from those pleated uh, marks. So uh, I think they nailed the design. If you can see here, shoulder tucks right into there. This is how I sleep in this divot, just like that. And then I've got options like this, 
like this. If I rolled over, uh, my face kind of hits this thicker part here, and it doesn't allow me to go any farther, really, because I'm in that divot. And so I'm going to stay like this, or I'm going to stay like this. And my shoulder isn't being pushed up awkwardly or pinched like this because it goes right into that recess. This is my favorite sleeping position right here. The other one would be is if you're a stomach sleeper like this, you can wrap your arm right around where the high side would be up here and you can sleep right on your stomach. I mean, if you like sleeping on your stomach, you're not going to get any more comfortable than this. The other neck side actually adds like a, gri a grip to it here. And then my elbow goes right into that arch there where my shoulder would usually go. This is the high side. The other side is the low side. And then your face kind of tucks into the divot. When it allows a little breathe away. So if you're a stomach sleeper, this might be your option. For comparison's sake, you can see how the more aggressive one here on the right, which is a two-type memory foam, foam mix that I reviewed before, you can see how like this eases you in to potentially that later, I think. Or you just might nestle up with that and you're good, but you can see the aggressive design and that's why I wanted to review this one because I thought, wow, this one's the aggressive one, this one's the the middle of the road one, but with better material than that one. This one's top notch all the way around on material over this one. It's just not as aggressive in its heels and bumps. So this one to me would be the one that works with every single person that wants a cervical pillow. This one might not appeal to that many people. So there you go. I hope you found this review helpful and make sure to click on the link in the YouTube description to grab you one of these while it's on sale. That 35% off coupon code makes this uh pretty tempting just to try make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that notice to get notified on the next product review i got coming out see ya